Hello, this is Johan from AppsFresh.com. I'm going to give you a little demo of this game mechanics. So let me click on play with an Xcode. Okay, so let me explain you what we have. But first, even before explaining you, as you can see, there's two ad networks that pop up. This is the RevMob one. Let me close it. And then the Charboost one. Okay, so those appear every three games. Now you can change that in the settings. That's no problem. You can have it every game or every 10 games. It's up to you. On top, you have the AdMob uh, advertising banner network here. Okay, so let me explain you the game mechanics really quickly. Um, you have a bunch of pipes moving in uh, the horizontal position and the vertical, and you need to avoid them and not touch the floor. Basically, just keep flapping your wings without touching the floor. Now, what's different between this game and Flappy Bird is that it's not moving right to left. This is the only screen you have to change. And what's going on is that if you tap on the left side of the screen, your character jumps to the left. And if you uh, press the right side, obviously, your character will jump to the right. Okay, so let me give you a little demo of this. I'm going to press play. Okay, so I'm tapping on the right. My character moves to the right. Okay. And on the left, my character moves to the left. So I need to pick up that worm right there. Well, I just missed, as you can see. And then you have the ads coming up the first time. Now, it's those ads are going to appear every three times. So let me press play again so you guys can see the demo. I'm going to go and pick up that, uh, that worm right there. All right. And obviously, do you guys see that, um, that dragon? You need to avoid it because if you touch it, then you die. So that's an enemy. Obviously, everything here um, can be um, reskinned really quickly and uh, can be changed. So as you can see, the score increase and you have the best score. You can look at the uh, leaderboard and obviously rate the game. OK, so that's enough for the demo. Now, let me show you how to change most of um, most of the settings. If you go to the global.h file, you can see the fonts that we use. You can see the Charboost IDs, the RevMob IDs, the AdMob ID. OK, so you need to put yours. And uh, you can change the sound effects here if you want to. Now, those are optional. Um, something else I want to show you are the graphics. So if you go to the Finder, there's a Resources folder. And within that Resources folder, you will see all the game icons right there. OK, so you just have to change these icons. OK, and the textures right there. OK, so if you click on textures, you will see the background for iPad, for uh, the regular phone, for the iPhone Retina. OK, so they all start with the same uh, the same file name. So that's easy. Then the enemy. OK, so you can ch change the enemy. As you can see, this enemy is made out of only three files. However, they, they have different uh, size. OK, so make sure you have them for iPad, iPad uh, Retina display and for iPhones. OK, so by the way, this app is universal just in case you haven't noticed. So it works on all types of um, iPhones and all types of iPads. Um, then you have the ground. OK, then within uh, the main character, you obviously have the bird that we were controlling. OK, and here is the animation. As you can see, there isn't that many files. It's always the same files. Um, they just repeat four times for each screen size. OK. And then you have the points here. Then you have the enemy. OK, I'm sorry, you have the bonus. Now, this could be a gem. This could be a star. This could be a candy, anything you'd like. And here are the pipes. OK, so as you can see, we have the pipes. And uh, you can make the game harder or easier to play just by changing these graphics. OK, so you can change the pipes. You can even make it shorter. So you can just cut half of it. And the pipe wouldn't go as far. But you can also do that within the settings. Uh, let me look at let me show you the GUI. You don't have to change anything here, but the logo. OK, so here is the game logo It's just as easy as just changing that file. The instructions. OK, disappear only the first time you play. It shows uh, this kind of a tutorial that shows how to play and then the play button and all those familiar um, user interface elements. If you go to the gameplay layer.mm file, you will see there's a bunch of settings right there that you can change in order to customize your game. For example, I can change the character um, speed. Instead of being uh, 13, I can make it to 20. So I make it a lot faster. And I can change also the character scale. I can make it a, a lot bigger. Instead of 0.5, I can put 0.80, for example. And I can change the, the speed of the pipes. Instead of um, 150, I would put them to 250. And for the vertical one, I'm going to put them to 90, for example. And um, 
next thing I'm going to do is also um, play the game to show you the difference. Okay, just as you can see by just quickly changing those numbers, you can customize the game easily. You can also enable the enemy or disable the enemy, change the speed of the enemy, and also the spawn rate of the bonus items. Okay, so let's give it a shot. Let me close these. Okay, as you can see, the pipes go already a lot faster. And as you can see, the character is a lot bigger, which basically makes the game a lot harder to play because now there's less um, room between the pipes and the character. Okay? All right, so now you can uh, do anything you can imagine. It doesn't have to be pipes. The background can be anything. It doesn't have to be a bird. It doesn't have to be a dragon. Okay, so go ahead and create some amazing games. <laughs>